All right, guys. Sorry uh, we uh, didn't get to finish this on stream. Everyone who's listening on here, uh, it, but we felt it, like this battle was way too important to not have a conclusion recorded for you all. So we didn't want to just do it offline and then feel, have you all miss out on the epic action that was coming on. So uh, this is uh, going to be posted on uh, Soren's YouTube channel, and then we'll post the link into Discord, uh, hopefully real soon. So This is for the fans. This is for you guys. <laughs> I get right. it. So what we missed was right when Warren's power it was pretty went much out. My turn. It was pretty much my turn. Was it your turn? Go. Yes. No, no, we. It was Kane's yes, turn. You, no, Kane. No, Kane had done. No, I had already Kane, gone. Kane went. He was like, "Honeth, your turn," and then that happened. So it's yeah, no. But guess, yes. guess. His, we can look. We can look in the log. Just look in the right log there, uh-huh. in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, Kane went. Yeah. He missed. D- did it? Did it capture that put though? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it did. Okay. I think I saw all of the rolls. Yeah. Okay. So you as long as it captured that, then yes, it is Honeth's turn. I, th- I thought I saw it. Yeah. Let me let me just make sure, unless someone else is. I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna do my rolls anyway. Just well, I what are you yeah. attacking? Yeah. Just whichever one. I don't know because there's too many enemies. <laughs> you okay, do so have... gonna... <laughs> There's too many enemies. Just pick one. Okay. okay. So you're using a you're using I... an icicle on that one. All right, it's dead. Yes, whichever one. You you uh you final fancy ate it to the to uh death. I get it. <laughs> and Eagle goes to whatever. Yeah, okay. the vo- the VOD shows my rolls. Okay, cool. So as All long right. as it shows your rolls, they know what happened. I was right. Again. Okay, you were right. I th- I just wanted to make sure. You're okay. We're all okay. It's all okay. All right. Uh, with minuses, the bite does land. Mm. So these got that one's down. Okay. Uh, w- let's see. Eagle is going to move to the near next nearest one. Would you like to move as well, Hanif? You are you are back into the air where they can't reach you anymore. What about the troll thingy? Uh, it is also wi- out of reach. How tall is it? It's a ten foot. Yeah, ten foot troll. Yet. So I have to be 15 feet, not 10 feet, because I yeah. was already at 10 feet. Yes, correct. Okay. I'm just going to stay right at the moment. Okay. Then your turn is over. Uh, Alley Cat, is your turn. You have one little dude still trying to kill <laughs> <Yep>. you. <laughs> one little friend. <laughs> <laughs> Since I have a full action, can I punch said little friend and throw a chakram at the Dolahan? Uh, ye... mm. no. No. You don't have two attacks. Okay. Yeah, fair you would need two. You would need two attacks in order to do that. All right, fair enough. I wanted to see. Double if punch then. Du- if you were dual wielding your chakrams, you could technically do it. But you have one shot. Sh- you have a chakram out and a punching dagger out right now, so you wouldn't be able to. Well, wait. No, it's not fit. He's not- okay. Yes. Okay. Um, he's not. You can't throw the shotgun, but you can attack with the shotgun with melee. And the, do you have? Do you have um, dual wield? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she does. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, she can. She, she can just attack with the shotgun and the and the punching dagger together. Even if the shotgun is a ranged attack. Well, she can't make a ranged attack. With that's it. what I thought. Yeah, yeah. That's what she was trying. That's, to, that's what, what she was trying to do. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you can only if you can either attack at range or you can. Uh, Kill the dude next to you. Your your options. Let's just punch the dude next to me then. Full round punching. Yeah. Easy hit. kill. <laughs> Dead. First hit, the first hit kills. The second hit uh, I'll roll anyways because I want to see what happens. <laughs> uh, even odd high or low. <laughs> odd high. Odd. Nice. Low. Uh, should have you believed in stumble, the you stumble and fall on top of one of the bodies. Uh, oh. we'll, we'll make it the body that you just killed. <laughs> it's a little smelly. <laughs> Wait, is she purring? Oh god, no. Right, well, <laughs> gonna move that thing out there. There we go. Your turn is over. 
The mage next to this one is going to try to fire your grasp up. Attack of opportunity. Oh, the mage good. is dead. I'm not even going to roll the next part. You <laughs> right. had low HP. Jeez. It's a lot of dead bodies, folks. Yeah, I noticed. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, are all the mages dead? Oh, all the mages are dead or run had run away. So that's awesome. Uh, the soldiers are still here. Um, Let's edit the VOD. Not awesome. <laughs> just I'll make sure to tweak uh, <laughs> <squeak> that audio. <laughs> and this one is going to attack one of the ones nearby. We'll make it this guy. Let's see if he gets the hit. Yes, he does. Is it kill? Yes, it is. Okay. And their turn is over. The little shitlins are moving at it again. These guys see a new target to move after. <laughs> little chitlins are so cute. <laughs> uh, these ones stay where they at. Uh, this one's going to try to move out. Hunneth, go ahead and have your uh, eagle do an attack of opportunity. So just either a claw or a, beat, or a bite. Uh, miss. So it will get to move. There. Alright. Attack on this guy. Miss. And... Attack on. I'm gonna mess up the name. Urgosh. 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 Miss. Definitely a miss. Hey, you strangely look like Tom Monte. <laughs> <laughs> Only, you know. Urgosh Lamphire. <laughs> very <I'm> different. Half brother. <laughs> very different looking. Alright. It looks just like him, except for everything. <laughs> uh, Hunneth, this one's gonna try to come by you, but it can't reach you, so it just aimlessly swings at you with its claws. And the Dullhorn, or Dullahan, is still up. It's gonna turn its attention on to Uragash, who decided to spear him out of freaking nowhere. Miss. Good luck. And I'm assuming this as well, yes. Uh, wait. 20s. No, misses because of um, negatives. Alright. So, that is okay. Urgosh, you see, like, a, a blade flying at you, and you just kind of, like, dodge right, dodge left, and you have your spear ready to come back. It is your turn. Raging Leaper. I'm gonna... Which allows me to leap from a standing still point. I don't have to run the leap in the air. Okay. So, plus eight. Okay, uh, so <laughs> nine feet into the air. Again. Does Does the... Does that count as an attack of opportunity? Because you moved ten feet, technically. I mean, or you I'm moved more than five. You moved more. Sorry, you moved over five feet. Uh, I guess, but I'm still going to do like, my attack. <laughs> <laughs> plus three, plus nine. Okay, you're both going to hit each other here. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let's see. That's a d eight. <laughs> All right, you're going to take 13 damage, That's and fine. you come uh, crashing down on top of it, dealing the final blow, piercing oh, through Kane the armor pissed. as it falls. <laughs> apart. So pissed! I, uh, Kane is I, so mad. I twist my spear into its chest cavity, and then rip it out. As you rip out the spear. 
a plume of smoke erupts out of it, enveloping the field. The remaining undead fall over. The magic that was binding them to this realm no longer there. The encounter is over. To those who survived, congratulations. <laughs> so not till Monte. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just thought uh, of one thing a while uh, New Tamonte can fly in. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but I can't hear. What are you? What are you talking about? I you hear can't it. hear it. You can hear it. I don't think so. If I was streaming, you'd be laughing right now. <laughs> playing the Space Jam theme song. Oh. Come on, a slam! <laughs> <laughs> that that was you in, you know? If I'll, you want to I'll add that in post, dude. Don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. Oh, he's got your back. All right. The rest of the enemies have fallen over, and all that's left is a battlefield of corpses. God, if I would have knew that, I would just focused him. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you um, couldn't have. So, like, my like, Sarkane is now able to move, right? Yeah, Sarkane is now able to uh, move. You would have been able to move had it got to your turn. Good job, boys and girls. Good job. <laughs> Listen, my salami was amazing. <laughs> 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 I got through like half the package. Anyways. <laughs> All right. So, post combat. Uh. How are how are you going to uh, react? Why are the foot soldiers still alive and the mages all ran away or died? <laughs> we're in a mage city. Uh, can um, Hunt like turn back into her normal self? Yes. Okay. And then he's gonna raise to where he saw where Dante was. I try to heal, but you know, just kind of mourn for what she felt like that she had a connection with to the elven culture as she grew up not knowing. And Tamante was so knowledgeable of it that she felt that she lost a brother. Sarkane, so you stumble over through the battlefield of corpses. Hearing Hanith nearby, and you find her. Yeah. Uh, not many words, just kind of sympathizing alongside Hanith. Put a hand on uh, on her shoulder. Morning. Kiva follows Sarkane due to last. Or no, Hanith due to last command. Mm hmm. She stands nearby. Hmm. Walgold, what would you like to do? Walgold's kind of walking up, looking at everything from up close and realizing just how bad it really was. You know, he was from a distance, just kind of at bay doing his best and he finally does walk up, and as he sees Hanith and Sarkane and Kiva, he realizes that why they're over there. He walks over and just kind of bows his head in respect and doesn't really say much. Alley Cat, is there anything you'd like to do? Ali also walks over to see what everyone is concerned with uh, before she finally sees the body of Tamante and she just kneels down, bowing her head quietly, silently. There we go. <laughs> Kane. Kane is just seeing red at this point. He didn't really know that Sarkane knew Tamante and Watching Telmonte die at the hands of that Dulahan and then seeing this orc come out of nowhere and steal steal the kill from him. 
He lashes out at the orc. As in how? As in flurry of blows. No oh boy. <laughs> Alright, make the attack. <laughs> oh my. I'm assuming those both hit. Those hit. Okay, you take... Hold on. 10, 11... <laughs> one more. That one <laughs> misses. Yeah. Uh, it's, just, it's just a 1d6. I don't think I actually... And Timothy the Third was born. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Alright, so, uh, Urgoth, you take 11, 20. Jesus Christ. You take another 24 damage. Oh my goodness. So, Urgosh just stands there and takes the punches. Then he raises his uh, spear up and just sh basically just points it right at uh, Kane and says, Steal your fist, warrior. I'm not your enemy today. <laughs> you sure seem like one. <laughs> he is still pissed off. You got much rage in you. You'll do very well in my trap. As they, uh, you know, the orc just holds his uh, spear at him then lowers it and nods at him. Kane. But he doesn't lash back. Kane saying this calms down a bit. The, the orc, however, comma, quote, is the, uh, is the sword still there on the Dolahan or did his sword disappear when he died? Uh, the sword is still there. Uh, he'll pick it up. <laughs> Okay, and he'll, you... and he'll and he'll um like tie it to him. Okay, he's a uh, balls or You you received a plus one. Wait, no, that's not plus one. That's higher. That's a plus two. Yeah, plus two. Uh, plus two. Uh, cold, keen, uh, longsword. And he'll just kind of step over to corpse. Y'all did well today. I saw your battle from afar. It's all that shining beacon. It's what drew me in. El Monte's beacon. Wall gold. Confused the fact that the blind rolled rogue realized what he was talking about. <laughs> trying not to laugh, guys. Dude. I'm trying not to laugh. Dude, <laughs> Warren. <laughs> this is a sincere moment, Warren. <laughs> Try not to ruin it, because I'm having a blast. <laughs> oh my goodness. You have no what, right to Creed. This is only the second character I've ever killed. I'm an emotional human being, Warren, okay? Right. So emotional you can smell blood. That of Del Monte specifically. I mean, I guess after last night anything is possible. <laughs> uh. Wall Gold, uh. kind of goes down and. in front of, uh. Tamonte's, you know, lifeless body. And, uh. he starts kind of looking around and observing, seeing if there's any type of memento he can take from the corpse. On the it... body, you recognize uh, two items that he held on him during prayer. One being his book of helm, which is completely covered in blood. The other is lying in a, or the other is lying in a pouch next to him. It's the pearl of helm. That one is completely unscathed. Well, well, grabs both items and uh, starts to kind of wipe off the blood off of the book. As you examine and, through the book, uh, you notice that the blood has soaked into all the pages. It is completely uh, destroyed at this point. Walgold kind of takes the orb and the very subtle toss towards Hunnith and she catches it. And Walgo looks at the rest of the party and says, well, the one thing that he wanted to do and he didn't have a chance to do is is 
go to his order and tell all of his councilmen about the uh, the demon that we found. So we need to make sure we do that in his honor. And he looks down at Tamonte and he says goodbye, Moy Malone, which is my friend in Elvish. <laughs> Sorry. Sword is an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> what does swords do? <laughs> do you ruin my moment? No, he's just no, I didn't ruin anything. It's very that's very nice. There you go, Gus Gus. Mm -hmm. You can add that to your inventory. I missed it. What did Swords do? Nothing. <laughs> Is there anything else you guys do at the battlefield? Uh, yeah. Ken kind of walks over and asks Sarkane if he can borrow one of his daggers. I mean, sure. Pass him a dagger. I take off the amulet that I wear around my neck. And I take the dagger, I put it in my left hand, and I take the dagger and I cut into my palm a bit and let the blood drip onto the amulet. And I just say, I'm sorry, Christy. I'm sorry, Master Yen. I failed you, but I won't let it happen again. And I just let it bleed onto the amulet over Telmonte a bit. I know not who you adventurers are, but I don't mourn for your friend. He's probably in the great halls of his god enjoying a stiff drink right now. You should be more concerned about any more of these foes they may be about. And the concern from some other countrymen. Not everybody else made it out alive either. And he notions to a couple of the other humans that are dead. Humanoids. Yeah. You notice that uh, the two remaining uh, guardsmen are have pulled out oil and are pouring it all over the um, the human bodies. They light them on fire. Now, they move, all, all they the move towards they move towards uh, Telmonte's body, offering the group the oil. Hearing them move towards us, I uh, I kind of step forward and I, I would like to to take the oil to uh, trench it upon Telmonte. Okay. So I assume that one of them would hand me uh, the oil. One right? of them. Uh, one of them finds your hand and puts the oil into it. Excellent. Um, I turn uh, with the with the oil towards Tomate's body. I kneel down and uh, start to soak his body in oil. And uh, also, while I'm while I'm doing that, I uh, take his his gold and magical items. <laughs> <laughs> Sleight of hand? Yep, hold on. <laughs> oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> listen, wow. listen, he has a lot Allie, of useful he has a lot of useful. Alley cats, wall gold, and Honeth. You <laughs> may make a perception. He's got a lot of useful. Okay. <laughs> I'll never forget this. That's pretty oh. good. <laughs> Wall gold, you are the only one who sees it. Make a smart choice here, man. <laughs> oh my god. The wands alone. <laughs> and then the the belt. That's really good. 
<laughs> Listen, even till Monte's like, use it. <laughs> <laughs> I spent a lot of gold on that stuff. <laughs> even, <laughs> even, even Tangent's like, don't let it go to waste. <laughs> Put on the cool shirt and match the orc. <laughs> oh my god. I'm the only one that sees it, huh? Yep, you are the only one. Everybody grieves in their own way. This is a sad moment. You're ruining. Yeah. You guys are ruining it. Listen. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? A lot. Yeah, I'm a pretty messed up <laughs> person. <laughs> My character's kind of screwy. <laughs> Do you guys want me to use Bart? Oh, oh my god. Alright, Wogold, what are you gonna do, dude? Yeah, I, man, so, what okay, what's your, do? What's your uh, alignment again? Chaotic neutral. <laughs> yeah, alright, we're, we're okay. Yeah, no, this is exactly, <laughs> oh my god. This is exactly I was about, I was about I to say, do. I was about to say, uh, if, if it wasn't chaotic neutral, it sure as hell was now. Yeah, no, this is exactly something I would do. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh. I use bark on the body. It's covered in oil. I mean, I am respecting Telmonte. I'm. You're respecting him enough to <laughs> use his last gift. I'm not gonna waste his. Yeah. You know. It's... I, uh... He would have done the same thing. Listen, to you. I'm leaving this up to Warren. However, Warren wants this to play out. It's up to him, dude. He noticed. <laughs> Woggled kind of squints both of his eyes, looks over at Haneth, looks over at the new orcish friend, right? Looks over at Alley Cat and notices that they they, they didn't see what, what he just saw. And Woggled's just sitting there wondering. What kind of true intentions does Arcane really have? And uh, <laughs> he looks over at Haneth and looks over at Alley Cat and says, A minute, please. Alley nods, looking over to Woggle, probably standing closer to him in case of whispering. No, I think he means a minute as in leave. Uh, okay, listen. <laughs> Which kind of minute are you looking for? <laughs> I would like a minute with the with the with the elves. Uh, okay, Ali nods again and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> Boggle looks over at Haneth. You said elves. I'm part elf. It's true. Boggle looks over at Haneth. Yeah. Do you choose to... What was that? Can you say that again? Do you choose to walk away or no? <laughs> no. <coughs> <coughs> No, Hanith, I do not choose to walk away. Hanith, will you please take Kiva and give me a minute with Tamonte and Sarkane? Okay. Kiva falls wherever you go. Woggle sure. walks around Tamonte's corpse and Sarkane's still kind of down on one knee and his hands are, are uh, quite... Um, Suspicious in his motions. Wogold puts one hand on his shoulder. What are you doing? So, from the outside, the relationship that uh, El Monte and I had may have seemed at times in conflict, but. Him and I understood each other on a, uh, a very special level. The resources that he he has, I know he would not want to be wasted. Surprised that you were able to uh, 
see what I was what I was doing there. But um, don't view what I'm uh, what I'm doing here as any sort of disrespect, Woggle. That is is entirely out of respect for somebody that I held to very high esteem within our party, and I do not want to leave behind anything that would remind me of them and what they helped accomplish, you know, together. What did you take? Just his, uh, his gold and uh, his magical items. Not very useful to me, but I figured I would consult with maybe you and Punith later on. Not really too magical myself, you know, a little bit, but didn't want anything to be uh, wasted. Then why try to hide taking all the items? I mean, I can be a funny man, but for the most part, I don't really open up to too many people. You know, my uh, my past is not one that I am comfortable opening up to with uh, many people, and Del Monte was one of those one of those people that I felt like he was willing to uh, listen to my past and and be there for me. And I just I don't know I kind of decided I didn't want to make a scene. Well, Warren, you're allowed to you're allowed to call for uh, rolls on this, by the way. Like call for bluffs, for bluffs, for diplomacies, for uh, if you want to read what he's trying to say. Boggle kind of thinks about it for a minute, kind of trying to absorb <laughs> what uh, what he was trying to say. So would I have him roll a bluff check? Uh, y- you could you could call to see if uh, you want to sense his motive, and he can roll against it. Interesting. Well, um, let's try that. Either way, I'm he's at a very good advantageous position. Well, I'll sense motive. Good old Sarkane. All right, oh. Sarkane, how do you want to get around this? Do you want diplomacy? Do you want uh, bluff? Do you want... Me you want for try. for a sense motive here? That's a that's a pretty strong roll. Um, okay, so I think I'm not gonna like even even roll anything. Can I just do like a little bit of uh, storytelling, role playing kind of thing? Okay, yeah, okay. you can go for it. So so this is uh this is a moment that is shared between. Walgold and uh, and Sarkane solely, and uh, right, it's, it's private right now. It's it's, yep. it's definitely private. So, uh, back at um, in town, you you made a you made a comment where you were talking about uh, lifespans and and age and all of that, and I didn't really uh, I didn't really say anything at the time because the the village that I actually was raised in and I grew up in. Uh, was was a mixture of elvish and and human, so we're actually pretty familiar with with the uh, the difference in in age spans. Something Telmonte obviously was was not, and uh, unfortunately for me, I'm not I'm not comfortable yet uh, getting into too many too many details here. But um, I had some. Some friends that uh, were were human, and um, some some unfortunate circumstances played out that sort of got me to to this point. And uh, again, I, I I know like I'm obviously asking for you to uh, believe a lot here, uh, Walgold, but Tomante was one of the uh, the few where 
I remember way back when we when we originally started as a party, we were we were constructing the the camp together, and he was comfortable enough to talk to me and share his his religious beliefs and. There was a there was a connection there, and that was something that I had not felt for a uh, a long time after I had left the village because of some unfortunate circumstances. Um, hopefully, you don't mind me not getting into details with that, but I will I will say that uh, from the outside, I can understand why. You would be surprised that I would view Telmonte as such a uh, a close friend, but he was. Boggle just kind of letting it all marinate. I can help with this part. Um, Boggle, you're still uneasy, but you do sense a bit of truth in there. At least a bit of truth, if not the whole truth. That story was earnest. Well, it could have easily been one of us here instead. It really could have. Listen, if you would feel more comfortable, if you want to take the, uh, the magical items and, and the gold yourself you're more than free to take them I just didn't want I'm not to, interested uh, in coin go to waste but I know Telmonte I know uh, especially after how how many adventures we've been through together in this uh, short life that he had that he would not want uh, us to not make use of these magical items and, and this gold. Bogle well, kind of is still kneeled down next to him. And he just kind of real sternly looks at Sarkane and says, Is that how you truly feel? From the heart? Believing that he would not want us to waste what he himself got? Hmm. Difficult for me. I, I was only able to hear, but to me it sounded like he was the first to run into battle and was wet, ready to take on whatever forces were coming our way and don't want to forget that or ignore that. Well, your goals are very clear, but I warn you the coming days will either make it or break it for you. You got to make a decision. That choice is yours. Walgold stands up and starts walking away. All right. Tomate's body is still there. Sarkane, you have uh, access to the character sheet now, so you can copy over items into yours. Okay. And uh, afterwards, are you going to light the body? Yeah, as everybody starts to uh, step away, I will go ahead and light the body myself. All right. This is Telmonte's body burns and the soldiers walk away along with everyone else. You're reminded of the adventures that you shared with the man Telmonte Moonsworn. 
May his soul rest in peace. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of tonight's adventure. Cool. That was a lot of zombies. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot of zombies. Technically, it was only two CR higher than you guys with the Dolahan. Without the Dolahan, it was on point. So Paral that paralyzed though. That paralyzed that though paralyzed. does hurt. All right, so we're wrapping up here then. That yep. will be it. All right, later cool. you bunch of nerds. Later guys, bye. Later. Bye. -bye. Take it easy.